good of democracy is evident when developmental projects are executed at the grassroots. For the administration of Valentine Buraimo in a mode of local government area, meeting the needs of the people remains a top priority. Several developmental projects have been executed in the LG through the energetic disposition of the chairman since assumption of office in 2017. To commemorate his third year in office, the chairman Valentine Buraimo organized a press briefing to give accounts of stewardship. In his speech, Buraimo pointed out that despite the achievements of his administration so far, Several developmental projects are ongoing, which include the current construction of an ultra-modern primary healthcare center that would be a sinecure of excellence, a highly responsive approach to the unexpected COVID-19 pandemic, and renovation of some primary schools in the LGA. As we embark upon the journey into the third year of this administration, it became common sense seeker that we consolidate on this achievement upon two strategic engagements, the stakeholders meeting and the budget retreat, we are the opportunity used to appraise our performance, identify our limitations, and provide pragmatic solutions to the consultation agenda. This administration under my leadership on the 11th of March 2020 presented to the Legislative House the year 2020 budget proposal document, Christine budget of consolidation. A proposed bill to the tune of three billion two hundred and twenty seven million four hundred and twenty six thousand two hundred and sixty five naira thirty nine cobo was presented to the house subsequently captured capturing the identified areas that the Constitution Drive would address and in line with the Lagos State Government team, teams, programs. These areas include education, works and infrastructure, women and poverty elevation, and health care. Gentlemen of the press, the actual 20 usher us into a reality. Our going was going to get tough. Unfortunately, the pandemic struck. The year of the mass involved because Lagos State became an epicenter. Lockdown was inevitable. In our mode of legal government, just like other communities across the, the globe, we had no blueprint on how to survive through COVID-19. Yet, we knew we just had to get tough because resilience to avoid the total collapse of our economy and keep our people safe. The administration immediately refocused its lenses, thus making welfare of the masses a priority. We commenced an aggressive advocacy of, sa on, of safety procedure across local governments. We published and distributed freely several documents, flyers, social media, Shall be that post, radio, television jingles on safety guidelines and procedures. I and the company of my management team led several station drives to all our markets, motor parks, public places to educate them on the importance of adhering to the safe protocols guidelines. The year of Marx has been quite challenging, yet our resilience, conviction while battling the unseen enemy called COVID-19 is to continue to forge ahead strongly while the going gets tough. To this end, regardless of the energy and financial commitments put into managing the circumstance, one thing worthy of mention is the fact that governance and amount of it did not collapse. The administration continued to run the initial proposed consultation agenda, the construction of, of sectional portion of Fort Avenue, 31 Road, Shopping Mall Center, Mama J, with interlocking stones, we are carried out. Construction of new 
area office in Abuladu was completed. With the level of projects executed so far, it's apparent that the present administration in a mode of LGA undeniably has the people's interests at heart.